Well, hello and welcome to yet another one. So, something different again. Not only is it another different company, but a different cycle subject again as well. And from a different period, this is interwar. So far we've had First World War, Second World War, um, post-war, this is interwar. Um, and a different scale. I think this is the first or 48 scale we've looked at. And this is actually a scale I'd like to move into more with more of my subjects because it's a bit more it a bit more to do with them. I like the centre two scales, I won't stop building centre two scales if that's the only place I can get a particular subject so I want to model, but where possible I'm trying to do 48s. So I got this at the Telford show, you may remember if you've watched the Telford video. Um, I know a fair number of people have watched these a minute of it. <laughs> but hey, I don't do this for views, I do this for enjoyment and extending my hobby. So this is Ataki, a plastic model, 148 scale aeroplane series, type 93, intermediate trainer, allied reporting name Willow. So obviously this did see wartime use as well. So a very nice painted box. I didn't really comment on the box of these, so I let's spot those let's spot these these annoying little hairs off it. There we are, a bit better, isn't it? Very nice. Might be some dogfighting training going on there, who knows. A hint at the two schemes. This one's naval, that one's army. And some of the other aircraft the company makes. So C Zero, Mustangs, P forties, Spitfires, Focke-Wulf 190s, P47 there, Hellcat. Very cool, we shouldn't have. So yes, I saw this and I thought, I've never seen a kit like this for sale before. A 40 get into a trainer, and just, you know, you get your Tiger Moss, you might get the Steerman or so, but this is something quite different. So I thought, yeah, why not? For the price, why not pick it up? So, opening the box, what did we get? So I think it's where these videos are gonna come into their own. Is really showing, you know, what you get to some of these older kits in case you find them on eBay or whatever. There we are, marking instructions. Obviously, what you can do is if you get uh, Google Translate onto your phone, and other Translate apps might be able to do this, I don't know, I can say for certain the Google one does. You can actually um, live, There's a if you click the camera picture, you can actually live translate all this. So, pretty useful. So assembly starts with the seats, interior as you might expect, bulkheads and neutral panels, fuselage interior, closing up, nice and simple, nice quick simple easy little build. And the parts, pretty self explanatory, so I need to tell you what's going on really. Struts in the upper wing. That's nice that this is in two parts because I've built other kits where that's in one part. It makes it so heavy because it's just solid plastic. So that being slightly hollow is going to make that a bit lighter. Undercarriage. I might build the undercarriage up on this one. <laughs> uh, lots of reference to an old joke. I was building a uh, RE8, Royal Aircraft Factory RE8 in 32 years ago, the old Airfix kit. At a friend's house at the time and he said are you gonna do you do that wheels up or wheels down with all all seriousness and sincerity and i, I looked at him and said do you want to say it again but very slowly <laughs> <laughs> he just smiled and, yeah <laughs> he said, didn't think about that did i <laughs> brilliant um the the motor and the cowling and propeller nice little cross section there showing you how it all goes together Exhausts, and then oh, I'll show you. I'm trying to put trusses on as well. And on the back, we get a rigging diagram. We'll have a go at rigging it. And then the parts diagram as well, showing you where all the bits are. So if you get stuck, you can come and check them there. And these are interesting. These are actually assembly instructions, this is how kits used to be. If you've watched Harry Houdini over a couple of times in the past, he tells you all about this sort of thing where you literally got instructions telling you how to do it. And obviously, English, look at this. 
advanced list. It's worth keeping this anyway, and this is fantastic. Look at this. One sided portion. Tidy paint colours and everything. Look at this, very really nice. Uh, see, so the air fits kit we looked at had full colour uh, painting guide, top, bottom, everything. Older, older kits in not just Airfix but other other companies of this sort of vintage. This is, I mean, I can't see a date on it yet. I don't think a date yet on it. Um, trying to have a look around, see if I can spot a date on it. Might be on the mould. Moulding. Looking, it's on the box. Made in Japan. Oh, it's not actually it's moulded in Japan. It's going to be made in Britain. <laughs> Think about it. The kit, the kit was moulded in the box. It all packed into the box in Japan, but it was actually produced there. It's made here. Um, it's going to be made here. All right. Uh, no, I can't see anything that gives me any sort of idea of date. But here we are. Look at this. You get a full, full colour side view of both aircraft. Only side view. But that's quite nice, isn't it? I mean, in better condition or whatever. I might have to do it anyway. It's still puts on the wall. A bit, of, a bit of decoration for your your hobby room. So I say, I believe this is a naval one, because this matches some naval schemes I've I've seen in the past, such as the uh, Cape Torpedo Bomber, as I, I made. That has this silver with a red tail like that, so I'm assuming that's a naval one. And that looks like some of the photographs, I, some of the pictures I've seen of army trainers being this orange colour. So they went for orange, but we went for yellow, most of the rest of all went for yellow. Fair and fine. Talking of orange, look at that kit. That is orange. <laughs> so coloured plastic, I won't take it on the bags because you can see it quite clearly. There's actually quite a nice texture to the fabric and the ribs are nice. This may be slightly over the top but in model forms that helps, it adds to the uh, effect, it makes the brain a uh, more happy when it looks at it. Propeller nicely moulded, I'm seeing next to no flash on any of this. See holes ready for your rigging to go into, really nice. There's a bit of flash on the other side of the prop. Maybe there. There's your clear parts. See? Yep, clear parts right on top of the old tube of glue. That's how that's, that's handy. There's some major flash between those, but we can sort that out. Maybe that you get some clear, um, like, yeah, that's why I keep some of this. These, these make good trays for bits of sprue, uh, bits of thing. You get some like that sort of clear sheet plastic and. You could make those if you wanted to and just build a frame around it, maybe. That's going to be either Anthony or Young Droll. We'll be chatting to a few people tonight as well, between film and these. Now the transfers are actually in this bag here. But they look to be in good register. There's a bit of a funny effect going on around here, but I'm hoping that's just where it's actually stuck to the plastic. If I do that, it disappears. So, yeah, they don't feel too thick through that. There's, there's a ridge, but yeah, that should be fine. Again, there's the wings. Two sections again with holes for your struts and rigging. And in a different colour again, we've got the, the engine. Nice, nice bit of detail on that. Intro panel, some nice details there. Pilot and, yeah, this is what I like the look of 40 years ago quite a lot. Alright, let's see if I can see. Anyway, I might see all this is. I mean, you can look at scale mates, I suppose, and see. There's even the texture there for the floor of the um, cockpit. Really nice. But, uh, yes, also, here is some wire provided for your rigging. I've never come across that in a kit before. Let me know in the comments if you've come across that. Did Wingnut Wings give you this? I don't know how easy it's going to be to use, but we're going to have we're going to use it. It came with the kit. We'll have a go at using it. Well, I'll have a go at using it. We, I'm building it, aren't I? <laughs> right. Let's just have a quick look on this bit. I don't think it is on any of that. Usually, it's on the. No. So I'll have to look on scale mates. I'll have to look on scale mates and see 
see what it is, but there we are. There is the K5Y1 Willow. Imperial Japanese Advanced Trainer, type 93. It's got to be 60s or 70s with that, hasn't it? It's got to be 60s or 70s. Oops. I'm just going to see how they're still on this bit. Yeah. Tell you what, tell you what, let's have a quick look now, shall we? Let's look the kit up. There's some information about the aircraft. 207 kilometers an hour at top speed, that's not not bad for an old biplane. And that's why you get the little, um, that's the, be the generator. The, the little uh, thing for powering electrics. It was drawn. Right, let's just search it up. Otaki plastic. K five Y one. That's Kinkid. eBay. Scalemates. So there's a C five Galaxy in four 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 scope. So it's for K5Y1. There we are. So there's our... That's not our one, that's a different box in there. Here's our one. It's what's so brilliant about scale mates. Oh no, it's not our boxing, is it? Very soon the boxing. There's ours. There's my one. I wonder how I got that. Okay. But the original mould, which is what we're looking for, is 1972. It's basically what we're looking for, isn't it? Um, You can get, so what I do really think about scaling is you get all these links for different extra bits for it to upgrade it if you want to. So you are. <coughs> a 1970s kit. Very cool, very cool. Looking forward to doing that one. It's going to go into the stash now, this one. It's going to, it's one of the other things is I can record all the kits I've got. I've got a stash recorded on, on Scalemate, so it's a free account. You can create, log in on there, do that. But yes, um, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I mean, I'll enjoy this one when it comes to it. Not sure what it's going to do. It might go for the orange one because it's a bit more bright. I've got I have plenty of silver and red and stuff. I think the orange one would be plenty of different models, you know, be those sort of colours. But this is it's quite a standout different. So, yeah. It's going to be interesting matching that. Right. So, take care. Be well. Stay safe. Till next time. And we'll have a, another next Monday, 6 o'clock. We'll have, oh, uh, UK time. We'll have another. Uh, box to look into. And uh, yeah, bye for now.